Yeah, guys, I'm not joking. Neo Aircraft by 2040. I'm going to talk about this in this video. So stay tuned, guys. I'm going to talk about Neo, Neo Stock, Neo Company, Neo Aircraft by 2040. Guys, I'm not joking. So we're going to talk about Neo Stock and just going to get an update what's going on. Obviously, Trump, you know, talking about tariffs again, knocks the um, knock the Neo share price down again, but not financial advice. Um, just my opinion. It's obviously a buying opportunity for you know long term investing or a swing trade. It's not low enough for me anyway, because obviously I've got a higher average on two on two accounts for Neo stock. So it's not low enough for me to buy more um, at this price. I mean, look, it went down to 428 again, which was also went down on the 20th of November to that level thereabouts. So possibly could go down more. I mean, obviously they're bashing it, right? They're bashing Neo stock. Not just Neo stock. I mean, they're bashing the whole, the whole sector, right? The whole EV sector. And it's 26 today, 26 November 2024. Um, it's coming up to 52 minutes past 9 p.m. UK time, and the market obviously has gone into aftermarket trading, so it's slowed down somewhat. Um, but I want to talk about Neo as a company um, moving into well, it's a long way off, but 2040, where well, we could see Neo aircraft. Because look, guys, you know, you see the Honda jet, right? Honda, Honda, you say cars, car manufacturer. You've got the Honda jet, and then you've got these Chinese now, they're making, obviously, like, they're making flying cars, right? Drone-like cars. And if you think, like, five years, like, five years from now, you know, 2030, you're probably going to see those flying cars, maybe not in every country, but you're going to see them, right? drone light flying cars they could also be powered by other tech you know include including solar etc but why i say 2040 is because obviously neo are developing steel light in the early stages of rolling out production expanding production of their evs right and they've got to overcome well look it's not really it doesn't really affect the company per se, these tariffs, these talk of tariffs, because ultimately it's only going to hurt America, right? If they get, they want a tariff war, like it's going to, it's only going to increase prices in America. So for me, anyway, my opinion, not financial advice, it doesn't really bother me because I can see that sector overcoming it, right? Long term. But, You've got to think that Neo are building, you know, in-house chips, right? Like, more powerful than NVIDIA. More powerful than NVIDIA, right? The chips that they're developing. I mean, in 2025, Neo are bringing out the 5 nanometer, you know, the 5 nanometer chip. Um, it's an AI chip, guys. It's an AI chip. They're bringing it out. In the ET9, their ET9 sedan, they're bringing it out in 2025, right? It's referred to as the NX9031 chip, right? So it's very advanced. This, this is very advanced production. This, this technology is very advanced that Neo 
is building it's artificial intelligence guys and it's worth literally it's worth hundreds of billions every year revenue because they use it in their own vehicles first of all saving them a fortune then they can sell the chips right not just for other evs but other other sectors like gaming aircraft right and that's why i get onto aircraft because this technology is so advanced um autonomous you know first in the for the autonomous vehicle technology but going moving into the future 2040 you know as you know like aircraft most aircraft they have autopilot right so autopilot basically flies the plane for most of the journey and then obviously landing and take off like mostly it's or partly or mostly it's manual but you've got to think that this advanced technology that neo are building it can be used in aircraft right and neo if you think about the honda jet right neo got you know or at one point it, they had the, 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 their um supercar fastest ev in the world and you see the designs that neo create right the um sleek stylish designs right so it's a natural progression for neo to build an aircraft at some point um talking about private jet like that like the honda jet yeah I'm not sure of the technology by 2040 it could possibly be some kind of you know electric some kind of electric or maybe electric stroke hydrogen combo possibly i'm not sure but certainly the chips they're building you know the ai right the ai nanometer chips certainly they could be used within um you know within small jets or even big aircraft right um so as i said these semiconductors the technology um neo are advancing in you can see them really coming out with an aircraft by 2040 similar to the honda jet but obviously more more advanced more 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 modern right in the future we're talking about in the future super 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 technology space age right space age so that's what i think that's where they, that's where they're heading right that's where they're heading um these tariffs, these talk of tariffs, obviously they're bashing the sector down. But I've got, I want to say something about that, right? I've got news about that. That, um, you know, the BYD. Talk about BYD for a minute. BYD sales now officially, officially, right? As I was saying, I said it back then in one or two of my other videos. But officially, it's a fact. Right, that BYD sales and revenues, right? Sales and revenues have overtaken Tesla, right? Now, Tesla stock is heading for a crash, it's heading for a big crash. This is all going to be reversed, guys. What you see now, it's my opinion, right? Not financial advice. What you see now happening to Neo stock. That's all going to be reversed, right? In my opinion, you're going to see Tesla stock crash. But at the same time, you're going to see Neo stock and stocks like Neo go to the moon.
I'm telling you, go to the moon. When I say go to the moon, I mean go to the moon, right? Super, super, super high. Sky's the limit, guys. Sky's the limit. Can't say exactly when, but I think 2025 is going to make the move. And they know it, guys, right? That's why they're bashing. That's why they're bashing the sector. That's why they're bashing Chinese production, Chinese semiconductors, etc. Because remember, right, you've got to think, right, that they were talking about, you know, um, talking about countries building semiconductors, Um like independent from China, but China want to sort of take over. And America, you know, they were like protecting, protecting the, in, the independence. So what you see now is like China, basically companies like um, Neo building their own tech, right? Semiconductors. In other words, they're saying, well, look, we don't, we don't, we can build it ourselves, right? We don't need to take it over. We can build it ourselves. And, and then, so it's all about semiconductors, right? The trade war, they're trying to like, you know, America, like, et cetera, they're trying to bash, trying to, you know, create a trade war. They think it's going to hurt China, but ultimately it's going to hurt themselves, right? So I think prices are going to rise a lot in America if they keep it up about this trade war business because they can't meet demand, right? Other manufacturers, they can't meet demand. It costs too much to develop, you know, the batteries. They haven't got battery swap and um, they're afraid of the competition, you know, American manufacturers, EV, not don't just build EV, but they're afraid of the competition, especially in the EV sector. And that's what it's all about, guys. That's what the trade war is all about. So I think that you're going to see it in 2025. You're going to see, as I said, you're going to see... Tesla stock and stocks like Tesla crashing and it could coincide with the general stock market crash in America right you saw what happened in COVID you know after you know like during the uh, after the pandemic stocks crash but on the other hand a lot of stocks went to the moon but I think that, that is going to reverse. You're not going to see that this time around, right? You're not going to see that with stocks like Tesla. What you're going to see, and I've put out a video before this one about Tesla. You can you can see it, right? So what you're going to see, I think, is that, um, as I say, Tesla type stocks they're going to be crashing, and this Chinese sector stocks, which you know, they've got a strong economy and it's an emerging market, right, in China. You can see how clear it's an emerging market because you can see how low the stock price is, right? They're keeping it down. Look at it, four, $4.33, Neo stock. It's more or less on the floor, right? Imagine the numbers, like they're building thousands of thousands of thousands of vehicles they've got firefly coming out december next month right just less than four weeks now what that's why they keep bashing it that's why they keep bashing it because when when a company is aggressive and you know expanding that's why you're going to see more of this talk. They're bashing it more and more and more. And behind it, behind the scenes of what's going on, in my opinion, 
one reason why they're bashing it, right? It's because they want they want to buy it. They want to buy it. They want to get it cheap. They want to buy it cheap, right? These people are not silly. They're all about money, and they know that they can't get, like, you know, they know they can't get much out of their own stocks now because they're super high. The only, the only thing they can get from their own stocks is is shorting it, shorting them, right? When they crash. That's the only way they're going to make money now from their own stocks is short them all. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to make money on the way down, but then obviously they're going to load up on stocks like Neo stock, right? They're going to load up um, because in my opinion, Neo stock and stocks like Neo stock especially neo stock right because it's it set itself apart from other ev manufacturers when you talk about them those chips right those nano chips they've got their own data center you talk about their five nanometer advanced production technology i mean who's got that guys right they're even being they're even like got you know developing technology that's more advanced than nvidia and look at the stock price of nvidia look at look at how high nvidia climbed to so this is what it's all about guys it's about the transfer of wealth from the american stock market um or American companies on, on, on the American stock market to basically emerging markets, right? Emerging markets on listed on, you know, the American stock market. This is what it's all about, the transfer of wealth. And it's only the intelligent people, it's only intelligent people that realise it, that are going to come out on top, right? That are going to you know, profit from it, from the knowledge, right? So, it's just my opinion, but that's what's going to happen. It's only a matter of time that Neo stock goes to the moon, and I'm pretty sure you're going to see a Neo aircraft by 2040. I'm pretty sure of it, like, because they've got all the design technology they've got the the ai nano you know the nano chips uh technology and they've got everything right so it's got to happen it's got to happen so anyway guys i'm just putting it out there that i don't know what you're doing if you're buying more or if you're waiting for a cheaper price because obviously we've seen this in, in not just Neo stock, we see it in a lot of stocks that get bashed down and then they, they start climbing after some time. Obviously there's going to be people not happy, but part of making money with stocks is like um, being down on stocks. Obviously like you're not going to make money on every single stock, right? But you can't expect to be in profit on every single stock you buy just because you buy it at X price, like whatever price, and then it you, you, you're down. It doesn't mean per se that you're losing money. It just means that you're down. You're only losing money if you sell the stock at a loss, right? Because ultimately, if the stock price rises higher than what you paid for it, then you haven't lost money, have you? So this is what people get confused about or get too emotional but yeah so this is what's happened right they're talking about you know they're talking about the tariffs again and that's what's bringing the price down so that's it guys um it's up to you what you do. It's not financial advice. For me anyway, the price is not low enough for me to buy more. 
uh, not not based on my average i've got on two accounts 480 on this one lower on the other one i forget exactly but it's not low enough for me to buy more it would have to be like 350 for me to buy more or lower I'm not saying it's going to go 350 but that's the kind of price i'd have that's the kind of price I'd buy more if it if it dropped to that. Because it's not worth me buying, you know, 370, 360, 333. It's not worth me buying. Unless I was going to swing trade it. But I don't really want to swing trade it. It's ideal if I wanted to swing trade it and buy now. And then when it moves up to, obviously, 480 sell. Yeah, that's a good, good move there. I mean, I could have done it. I could have done it here, you know, when it moved up and then fell back down. And I could have loaded up again here, climbs up, sell. I could do it again here, but it's not really worth me loading up. Like, I, I, I prefer to load up if it was cheaper to hold for long term rather than swing trading because I don't want to keep watching different stocks like on a swing trade. But certainly you could see like, there's opportunities there, but I don't think it's going to continue. Eventually, like, um, you know, eventually, like, the Neo stock has got to start rising, regardless of whether they keep trying to bash the sector. It's only going to hurt themselves, as I said. China, they can flick the switch tomorrow and say, like, you're not buying Tesla. You buy it. You buy Chinese, right? And then that's it. What's that going to do to? What's that going to do to the um, to Tesla sales? Already, I think that's happening, or happened because BYD have already taken over. They've got more sales than Tesla, and the, and the revenues revenues are higher than Tesla. So already, that could be happening, right? And that's why they're panicking. That is why Tesla are panicking. So I see it as a buying opportunity. But obviously for me, yeah, it's not low enough to pick up more. But certainly a buying opportunity if you're looking for a swing trade. In my opinion, not financial advice. Um, so we'll see how it goes, guys. We're monitoring it. But I'm pretty sure you're going to see NEO long-term strong strong and long a neo aircraft 2040 guys neo aircraft think of the honda jet now think of neo aircraft guys i'm pretty sure they're gonna develop it if not already thinking about it right so you know think of it think of elon musk right tesla spacex right now think of Neo, Neo Jet, Neo Aircraft, and the future, the future, guys. So anyway, it's not low enough for me to pick up more. As I say, I would need like three, three fifty. Then I would pick up more, as it would super lower my average. But at three thirty, it would only be a swing trade. For me, and uh, I, I, I would rather hold it long term than swing trade it. So, anyway, guys, just an update, yeah, about Neo Aircraft.